Hardybacker board is used to provide a dimensionally stable and a moisture and mold resistant substrate for various tile installations. It's the trusted solution preferred by professionals for wet area floors, wall, countertops, and more. Hardybacker board's proven performance history, superior strength, durability, and workability have made it the most recommended backer board on the market. Hardybacker is made up of 90% cement and sand, giving it strength, mold, and moisture resistance. This simple to follow video will walk you through the steps for proper installation, preparation, application, and finishing. With these steps, you can install Hardybacker board quickly and efficiently. Preparation. Make sure you have everything required for installation. All items can be picked up at any retailer or tile shop. To perform this installation, we recommend the following items. Hardybacker boards available in 4 by 8 feet and 3 by 5 feet sheets in 1 quarter inch or 0.42 inch thickness. Modified or unmodified thinset. Shears or a scoring knife straight edge, hammer, trowel, quarter inch notched, sponge, a drill with screwdriver bit and backer board screws, one and one quarter inch, or roofing nailer and one and five eighth inch roofing nails, and alkali resistant glass fiber tape. Safety tip. Never use high-speed power tools, such as saws or grinders, to cut hardybacker indoors, as they may generate excessive silica dust. Never dry sweep during cleanup. Always use wet suppression methods or a HEPA vacuum. Cutting. There are various ways to cut hardybacker. For larger cuts, use the score and snap method. To score and snap, mark your cuts using a straight edge, ensuring uniform cutting lines. Use a scoring knife, applying firm pressure to score along the straight edge. We recommend using a carbide-tipped scoring knife, but a utility knife may also be used. Snapping is easy. Place the board on the floor and kneel on it for leverage. Apply pressure in two locations and snap the board upwards. Always snap upwards when using the score and snap method. Circles and edges are also easy to do. After identifying placement of the hole, score a circle on the board with your knife and score lines across it as shown. With your hammer, strike the board in the center and pull the pieces out with fingers. To cut a flange or corner, place the board on the edge of a table and score after measuring. If you don't have a table, just place the board on angle over a 2x4 or other stable material. Floor Installation Before installing Hardybacker, make sure your subfloor is strong and sound. Recommended floor joist spacing can be 16 inches, 19.2 inches, or 24 inches. Do not exceed 24 inches. Tip. On existing structures, ensure the subfloor is not damaged. Replace any loose, warped, uneven, or damaged sections of the floor. Make certain the subfloor is clean and flat before starting installation. For floor installation, you can use Hardybacker 500 or Hardybacker 1 quarter inch. We recommend using 1 quarter inch due to its strength and easy grid fastener pattern. To determine the layout of Hardybacker board, Allow a 1 8 inch gap between all Hardybacker cement boards as well as the walls and cabinets. Always lay Hardybacker board in a staggered pattern. Do not align with subfloor joints and never allow all four corners of Hardybacker boards to meet at one point as it creates a weak point. Score and snap boards to proper sizes and make the necessary cutouts. To attach Hardybacker cement board to subfloor, Apply a layer of thin set on the subfloor using your trowel. Then, embed Hardybacker cement board firmly and evenly in the wet thin set. Fasten the boards into the floor 
and ensure 1 8 inch spacing between boards, walls, and cabinets. Make sure to keep fasteners between 3 8 of an inch and 3 quarters of an inch from board edges and 2 inches from board corners. Try to stagger interior fasteners with floorboard screws. Prior to setting the tile, fill all joints with the same thin set used to set the tiles. Then embed 2 inch wide high strength alkali resistant glass fiber tape in the thin set and level. Now you are ready to lay your tile. Finishing. Hardy backer boards can be used with almost any type of tile such as natural stone, porcelain and ceramic. Before applying thinset, clean the hardy backer of any dust or debris with a wet sponge. You'll need to add another layer of thinset, keeping it as even as possible. Tile right away, placing them firmly into the thinset. Grout and seal tile to finalize installation. See Grout Manufacturer for curing times. Wall installation. Use Hardy Backer 500 or Hardy Backer Pro Grid products for wall installation. Tip: Ensure framing is structurally sound. Use a minimum of 2 inch by 4 inch wood studs or 20 gauge metal studs, which must be straight, properly aligned, and spaced a maximum of 16 inches on center. Determine the layout of Hardy Backer board. Hardy Backer boards can be installed vertically or horizontally. Edges of the board parallel to framing must be supported by a structural framing member. Always lay the hardy backer board in a staggered pattern. Never allow all four corners of boards to meet at one point as it creates a weak point. We recommend that you lay all of the underlayment before installing any tile. Measure the area you wish to cover with hardy backer and cut the boards to fit. Measure the distance from wall and corners to any intrusion such as switches, fixtures, or lights, and mark the distance on the appropriate board. Cut the board by scoring with your utility or scoring knife. Snap upwards and the board should break clean. Attach Hardy Backer cement board to framing. Install boards one quarter of an inch above floor, tub, or shower pan and caulk accordingly. Tip. Finishing with paint versus tile. If finishing your hardy backer job with paint, make sure you install hardy backer board with the smooth side facing forward. If you're finishing with tile, it is recommended that the grid side faces forward, but either is acceptable. Fasten the cement board using specified nails or screws with a maximum of eight inches on center at all supports. Keep fasteners 3 eighths of an inch from edges of the board. Keep fasteners two inches in from sheet corners. Tip, do not overdrive fasteners. Fastener heads should always be flush with the surface of the board. Leave a 1 8 inch gap between boards. Install the second piece of board just like the first. Continue installation down the first side of the room until you reach the end. Fill all joints with thin set. Embed 2 inch wide high strength alkali resistant glass fiber tape in the thin set and level. You are now ready for your tile or paint. Finishing. Hardy backer boards can be used with almost any type of tile and or paint. It can also be textured as you would drywall. Wipe the surface of hardy backer board clean with a damp sponge just prior to adding thin set. Spread the thin set with a notched trowel. Tile right away, placing them firmly into the thin set. Grout and seal tile to finalize installation. See Grout Manufacturer for curing times. Your home is your most important investment, and with these proper steps, you can easily install hardy backer board to protect your home and family. Hardy backer board can also be safely used in many other locations, such as exterior walls, steam rooms, barbecue pits, 
countertops, boiler rooms, fireplaces, and stovetops. For more tips and information on Hardybacker board, make sure to check us out at www.hardybacker.com or call 1-800-9-HARDY, 1-800-9-H-A-R-D-I-E.